My name is Marae Soria. I'm president of animation at Paramount Pictures. I think that uh, the best advice I can give someone who is new to directing, who is working with executives, is to um, is the same advice I try to give myself, actually, in working with artists. I think that um, always be respectful and polite and focus on um, the only agenda you should always have is what's, we're, all, we're both working on the movie. We're focused on the movie, we're focused on the story, what's best for that? I think it's very easy to take things personally um, and, uh, and you things are usually not meant personally. And even if they are, don't let it get to you. I find that uh, as somebody who has gone back and forth from being a producer to an executive and, and I go back and forth, I've realized um, it always makes me laugh when somebody, you know, I leave room and go, oh, those executives. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that was me last week, you know. And I also realize that it doesn't matter what you call me, I do what I do wherever I go. And I really come to it as an executive or a producer of wanting to make the best movie possible and wanting you to be successful at your job. So I think to look at it as a partnership um, is the best thing. And to, and to be clear about your voice and try to articulate it. And I think one of the things I find for new directors is keeping wherever you come, whatever area you come from, story or, or say production design or uh, layout, is making sure you keep the whole movie in your head all the time. It's very easy, I think, in animation to get segmented, and I think one of the challenges is to really think of it as a whole. I think you have to really, I, I would ask myself if there's something I'm hanging on to, if, if you are hanging on to a, a point that you feel passionately about, why is it? And if you do feel so passionately about it, there must be something I feel germane. I would have to hear you and say, there's something germane in this. You may not have it in the right place. You may not have it realized in the right way, but I think, you know, it's all about the conversation. It's all about the dialogue. And I think that I, I've noticed in animation in particular that I think the, the, the thing that I find that most first time directors have to work on is being able to articulate your, your vision. Um, the, the crews are there to make you successful. They want nothing more than to, to, to bring their artists in the service of your movie. Um, so I think hearing other points of view is really important. Being able to think where are they coming from. Um, at the same time, I feel it's very important if you're working with the script and you've put given notes on that, get it up. Get it in animatic. Don't make changes. Don't start veering right and left before you see that. Then let it grow. And you'll see what fits in and what doesn't, what needs to come out. You know, I see those heads of departments as the Knights of the Round Table. You know, it's very much you want those people to um, to be invested and you get the you get the best you can because they're so important and, and to lean on. So you don't I, I wouldn't feel I would say relax as a first time director and don't feel like you need to have all the answers. Um, and sometimes it's good to have a lot of questions and see where people's, what answers people are giving you. What I look for in um, new directors and trying to mentor people coming up. Um, is it goes back to, to story, being able to say that they don't just see their part in the movie wherever they come from, but are able to articulate a vision so that um, if it's a story artist who's been head of story, if it's a production designer, if it's a, a camera person, that they can, they can speak to the whole movie, so that they can speak to the themes of the movie and be able to um, articulate what is important to them in the movie. Uh, how does that theme apply to animation? How does it apply to lighting? How does it apply, you know? And again, not having to have all the answers, but keeping the important questions in mind so that there is a consistency throughout the movie. So I think that to me is, I, I look in having those conversations. I love getting to know the artists because it's like I like to know how they think. And if I can understand how they think, that's, I feel I can understand that they, they, they have a bigger vision. I 
think sometimes, um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, I don't want to say baggage, but there's a lot of um, baggage that goes along with the, with the title of director. Um, and I think that, again, by focusing on the movie and not getting, uh, it's all of us, get your ego out. We always see the world from our point of view and not being able to get out of it. And I, I think that for directors, it's, it's very easy to mistake yourself for the title. And so I would say, make sure you focus on what's important. What's important is making a great movie. And don't let the trappings mess you up. <laughs>